Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today is gonna be our Mother's Day Bible journaling page. So I'm so excited to do this one, and I found the absolute perfect verses for this page, at least for my mother. All of your mothers are probably different, but this one is for my mother. It's absolutely perfect. Um, so we're gonna be working in Proverbs today, and I'm just gonna be using watercolors so this is actually a new Bible. I just got this literally, I think, last week. I haven't even opened it yet. Well, I opened it a little bit just to see the pages, but this is an interlead Bible, and it has one complete bank blank page in between each different page. So if you, these, sorry, I can't talk. So if you're new to interlead Bibles, this is what they look like, and there is a blank page in between each page, which is awesome. You can journal the entire page. You don't have to worry about covering up any verses or anything. There are tons of interleaved Bibles out there. I will link this one down below. It is more money now, but if you look at Amazon and you look at like where they have like the second party sellers, um, you may find this for a lot less than what Amazon is selling for. That's how I found this one. And I got a great, great deal on it. So God bless me with this for sure. So today we're just going to be using watercolors, and then I'm also going to be using some brush pens for hand lettering. So that's all we will be using today. I am missing one of my one of my brush pens, but it's probably in the other room. I don't think I need that color, though. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So before we start journaling, let's go ahead and say a quick prayer first. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together today. I pray that you'll help us to understand your word and always grow closer to you, Lord, every single day. I pray that you'll help us to journal what you want us to journal, Lord, and that we always do it for you first, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I'm excited. Today we're just going to have fun and do some free drawing watercolors, or watercolors, watercolor flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and get my paints out. I always have my palette handy so that way I can see what, oops, upside down, so I can see what colors I have available to me. Alrighty. Now, if you're watercoloring, you can watercolor in any Bible, um, as long as you're not heavy handed with water. It shouldn't seep through your other page, but always make sure you have a piece of paper or a drawing mat underneath. And if you want to, you can even just sew your page if you wanted to, to, pre to prepare it and get it ready for painting, etc. Alrighty. I'm so excited. I haven't watercolored in a while. And I'm a lefty, so let's see how I'm going to do this with my new Bible. Um, let's see. I am ambidextrous, but I really do want to paint with my left hand today. So I think I'm going to do it this way. There we go. Okay. I got my paper in there. And I did not prep my page because I wanted to see how this paper takes watercolors. Because I can always use gesso on the back of it and um, paint over it so it won't show up on this side. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have my water handy. I always have my water. And I don't have two cups, but you can have two cups of water. And that way you can clean off your dirty brush and then clean it even more with clean water. That's what I've heard. I do do that once in a while. Okay, so I want to do some, just some shoots of leaves. I'm going to use like, let's see, this lighter green way at the back here. <laughs> and I just want to use a little bit, get some more water. And I'm just going to do some shoots of green. Just to get some nice, cute stems going up and then you don't have to add any more leaves or anything um i was looking for ideas on youtube and on pinterest i saw this really cute idea and i just got the inspiration from it these are all um just getting inspiration i will try to find the original video that i saw and i will share it in my description box down below but you can do whatever flowers you want i'm going to go ahead and, and do a lot of different flowers here i'm going to do some some pretty like lilac colored flowers and then I'm going to be doing some some like um definitely some blue flowers. Let's do some blue lilacs. I think there's blue lilacs out there somewhere. So I definitely want to do some blue here. And I'm going to do this medium blue or this lighter blue. 
And then I'm, yeah, okay. <laughs> I had a couple different paintbrushes and I'm wondering if I'm using the right paintbrush. And you don't have to worry about it being clean or messy or whatever. I'm actually gonna switch paintbrushes. I just wanted that one just for um, doing the shoots of grass. I'm gonna switch paintbrushes and use this one instead. But my mom loves blue, so I'm gonna do some blue flowers. Definitely some blue flowers. And I'm doing like the most easiest flowers that I know how to draw and paint. So that way you guys can follow along. I try to make all my tutorials easy for you guys. That way it's easy to follow along and you can paint with me. And you can also use um, color pencils if you wanted to. You don't have to use the exact same medium that I use. Okay, let's use, let's see, let's do some daisies. Like some, our Black Eyed Susans. Let's do that. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do like, um, maybe this yellow, like this mustard yellow, I think will be pretty. Oops, almost lost my paintbrush. And I have too much water, so just take off a little bit when you're doing this. I'm just going to make cute flowers. And they don't have to be perfect, because you're doing this for the Lord first, and then I'm doing this for my mom second. So both of them love whatever we draw. <laughs> And I think I'm going to do another one down here, maybe. And I'm leaving some space at the top, so that way I can do like a darker middle. So that way it looks like a Black Eyed Susan or a Daisy. Let's see what else do I want to do. Maybe I'll do some roses, because I know she likes roses, so let's see. Maybe I'll do like some pinkish reddish roses. And I think I showed you guys how to do some roses in a previous video. So let's go ahead and do some roses for this page. Oh, I showed you finger hand, finger painting roses. That's what we did together. I forgot what we did together. But it's always good to even practice doing your flowers because I'm still practicing. I'm not the perfect with flowers or anything, but it's always nice to practice and kind of get used to doing flowers because I'm not great with watercolor flowers, but at least we can practice and we can keep getting better as we do it. See, I think I'll do one more rose. Let's see, I think I'll do it over. Hmm, let's see. Let's do one over here. Now I'll put all the roses kind of together, so I'll do one down here. You just kind of do like little U's with your paintbrush, and you can even do that with a regular paintbrush, not a watercolor brush. But since I have watercolor brushes now, I can actually start using them. There we go. Let's see what else do I want to do. Maybe I'll add another yellow flower. Let's 
see. Maybe I'll do one down here. I'll do like a whole round flower of yellow. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna add some purple flowers too. I think this needs purple. So let's go ahead and do some purple flowers. Let's see, where are my purple colors? They're down here. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna do like maybe just some Kind of looks like grapes or just little, little fun flowers. We can even do like little, little pansies. Are they, are they pansies? <laughs> I don't know my flowers very well, but we can do like little pansies. Let me get some more purple. There we go. Cute, I like the purple. Okay, let's add a few more purple. I like the purple a lot. So we'll add some more purple. Okay, I think I'm gonna add, let's see. What other colors do we want? I think I'm almost done with the flowers. Let's go ahead and add in some of the green for some leaves and stuff. So we can add some leaves. Well, I think we actually need more flowers. Because <laughs> this stem is like completely bare. I mean, there are some flowers when you pick flowers for your mother and they end up being bare stems. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see if I can add a few more flowers. Let's add some more blue ones. We only have two blue, so let's add another blue. I forgot what blue I used, though. <laughs> Oh no, I think I use this one right here. But it's okay if it's not exactly the same. I'm not worried about that. So let's do another blue one here. There we go. Kind of needed another blue flower in there somewhere. Okay, so now we can go in and do some more green to try to get just a little bit of some leaves. I'm just wiping off a little bit of the paint just so it's not so dark. So I'll add in some leaves. And it's watercolor, so you can be as messy or as unneat as you want to. I know I'm, I like being neat, but I try not to be with watercolors. But we can add in some leaves. So it's supposed to be kind of more of a bouquet looking, so we gotta kind of connect our flowers a little bit and just kind of add some green here and there. All right, let's add some green over here. Okay, I think we are almost all set to where we can add in some darker centers to our flowers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use up the rest of my green color. It's very pale now, so I can just go ahead and do little touches of green in between the flowers. So it kind of looks like it adds little, just a little bit of greenery in between. There we go. Alrighty, so it doesn't look too bad. I like the way it's looking. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with my darkest. Well, like maybe I'll do like the, should I do brown? No, probably black. Black would probably be better. 
I'm gonna go in into the black. Let me make sure I get the right color. <laughs> right, okay. it, sorry, I'm off camera a little bit, but here's our black. I'm gonna go in and do like some little, some little sprigets of black just to kind of have like little stamens showing up in between the flowers. And you can let it dry a little bit more if you want it to be a little neater, but I like the look of like, just the watercolors blending together. All right, let's see, and I need my center of my daisies. Just make sure you don't have a lot of water because it could spread a lot. So I'm just being really, really gentle with my water because it's going to spread a lot. <laughs> there we go. I think we are good. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and use our, I'm going to wait until this dries though because I don't want to get my hand in the paint while I'm hand lettering. So we're gonna go ahead and let this dry and I will be back shortly. Okay, so my page is completely dry. I actually went ahead and um, filmed another video so that way this, this would have time to dry. So let's go ahead and look at the back of the page so you guys can see what I did. Um, I did not prep it. There is a tiny, very, very tiny bit of shadowing, but not really hardly anything at all. So this, this paper takes watercolors really nicely. It, it, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I swallowed the wrong way. Um, but there is a crinkliness to it, but once the pages lie flat in it, it usually goes away for the most part. And I, I like the crinkle. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our lettering. And I actually forgot to share with you the verses we're going to be doing today. You know, my brain just is not working today. I'm getting some packages in the mail, so, like, my brain's really excited, and my mouth just isn't working today with my brain. So we're going to be in Proverbs 31, verses, let's see, verses 25 through 29. And it says, Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. So I thought that was a great verse for Mother's Day. I thought that was absolutely perfect. And I think we're going to do purple. I was going to do blue, but since we did blue flowers, I think the purple is going to be nicer. Let's see what color purple it is, though. Ooh, yeah, that'll work nicely. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do our hand lettering. And I think I was going to do the one verse about laughing, but I, I really like this verse that says, Her children rise up and call her blessed. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I am a lefty, but with hand lettering, for some reason, my right hand is steadier. So I'm going to use my right hand. And thankfully, my page is completely dry, so I can go ahead and do this. Now, I still need practice with the brush pens because these are new to me. This is what the brush pen looks like, and it's a lot longer than what I normally use, which is the Tombow Food and Asuki, and it's very, very short, and so I still need tons of practice, but that's why we're doing this right now. Okay, so let's see. And children rise up and call her blessed. That's, why I, that's what I wanted to put. Let's see, we'll start up here, I guess. And we'll try to do our best. <laughs> Her children. I gotta keep my paper steady. And I have a whole video on my channel. I will try to link it down below in the description box on tips to on how to do hand lettering. I'm still practicing, I'm still learning. I think everybody still learns, but it's nice to get some tips and tricks. Okay, let's see her children. Rise up and call her blessed. Mm. 
So that is our page for Mother's Day. I think it turned out really, really cute. I think the purple was a good choice because it matches like the little purple flowers. And I think it just turned out really pretty. I like how it turned out. And I know my mom's going to love it when I show her it. <laughs> but I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day. Um, you know, even if you're not a mother, which I'm not a mother yet, but we still try our best to be good examples for younger women and even older women sometimes if they don't know Christ and we just show God's love and in that way we are mothers how we care for others and how we show God's love so to all of us I wish a blessed Mother's Day and I will see you all in the next video and don't forget to subscribe down below and like this video love you all